Hello and welcome back. This is episode two of our Gateway Resources and Support video series. Uh, you've obviously found us on YouTube. Don't forget to check in the description for links to the other videos, descriptions of the other, other videos, if there's something specifically you're looking for. Also, the email address will be listed to contact us. And or you can post a question directly in the comments. So this week, we're going to get started. This episode two is a rubric refresher. The idea, here's what you're being graded on. Now, this is the legacy rubric. So if you're a first time text taker and have found this video series, these rubrics might not apply to you. Make sure you ask your teacher for clarification. But for those of you that are retaking the gateway, these are the rubrics that you will be scored on. And we're going to take a little bit of a deep dive today into that. And don't forget, these are available on those resources I showed you during episode one if you go to the Gateway homepage on the GCPS website. All right, so I wanted to go through the science rubric as well, just to make sure that you see it and have access to it. Uh, so again, domain one, development of the science process. Uh, you can read the description there, but the components and elements, uh, the application explanation of scientific reasoning, uh, making sure here you're obviously addressing the prompt, uh, the focus and relevance as well. So let's look again here, let's look at this for uh, the idea here, again, that we're, get, we're getting you to passing on this. Consistent control of the components of development of scientific processes, the response is characterized by most or all of, of the following. So you're gonna have uh, a well-developed response with specific examples and details. Uh, just one part may not be developed as fully as the others. So you're really gonna make sure you're addressing the prompt uh, with those examples and details. Uh, connections are explicitly stated and well developed in most parts of the response. We're going to talk about this in another episode. If if this is something you struggled with in the past, take a look at the "so what" video. Uh, it's also kind of the idea. There's a uh, one more sentence strategy, and that's linked in the index that you'll see in the description. But the connection connections are explicitly stated and well developed in most parts of the response. So that's showing the reader that you understand the connections uh, between these scientific processes and, and how you're answering the question with the examples and details. So that is domain one. Domain two is very similar. Uh, the knowledge, this is similar to the social studies ones that we talked about as well. Uh, this is your prior knowledge, your scientific vocabulary, and then the documents, the scientific representations and tools. Uh, whether it's diagrams, graphics, models, symbols, and or formulas. So again, here we're going to focus in this three, four, five section. This one I want to point out here, relevant scientific vocabulary is used in the response. That's the idea that you're, you're incorporating that scientific vocabulary when you're discussing your prompt, when you're discussing your response, uh, and including that prior knowledge as well. Make sure also the clear and appropriate use of provided documents. And then also whatever tools are provided for you, if there's graphics, models, symbols, symbols or formulas that uh, you're being asked to use as well, you're gonna wanna make sure that you use those correctly, uh, representatively. Um, so then that's the domain two. Domain three, we already talked about with the, uh, the social studies, the organization of scientific concepts. Again, this focusing in this three, four, five. The strategy is generally appropriate to the assigned task. Um, again, scientific ideas are generally presented in a clear sequence. So within this domain three, it's this organization of science concepts. You'll notice at the top here, the, con uh, the components, this is different from the social studies the linking ideas to demonstrate scientific process, making sure you're incorporating those scientific concepts, your organization uh, in your structures and in your response. Domain four is the conventions. And it's all, all of those, again, the idea that it's not interfering with the reader's ability to understand what you're trying to say, sentence variety, grammar usage, mechanics, et cetera. 
All right. Well, that brings us to the close of episode two, looking at some of the rubrics. I want to go ahead and invite you to take a look at the other topics. There's a link to that document in the description. If there's a question, don't hesitate to email us or post in the comments. Thank you.